Hello guys. So I came across this error when trying to work on my HP Chromebook. So if you come across this error on your Chromebook, I'll be showing you how to fix it. The first thing you would need to do is you need to have another computer and with that computer you will be downloading the recovery image. So I have over here the computer which I'll be using to download the recovery image. And uh, to make this possible, you would need to have a Google Chrome browser installed on your computer. So I've gone ahead to install Google Chrome on this computer which I'm going to be using. And it's open right now. After doing that, you come up here to the top right hand corner to where you have extensions and you click on it. And you click on manage extensions. Once you have that selected, you come to the top right hand side and you will see where you have the three lines there. You click on that. You come all the way down and you set you select open Chrome Web Store. Once you have that open, you type in recovery. And you will be seeing this Chrome recovery utility. So this is what we're going to be using for this. You click on that and you select add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, so once it's added, we can open it up. We come up here, we click on it and then it opens. It gives you the opportunity to create a recovery media for the Chromebook. I have here an eight gigs flash drive, which I'm gonna be using to do this. So I slot that into my computer. Okay, it's actually inserted. So it tells you you would need an 8 gig or larger USB or SSD. All right. And it's going to be deleting everything on the USB or SSD drive. So make sure you back up your files on the drive. If you have anything important on the drive, you make sure you back it up because it's going to be cleaning everything on the drive. I click on get started. Okay, it gives you the, the screen where you identify the Chromebook. So I'll be clicking on this and I type in the model. Where I have the arrow over here, it, at the lower part of where the arrow is displayed, it shows me the model number of this HP Chromebook. So I'll be typing in this information. So you need to make sure you type in the spaces and the dashes. If not, it's not gonna accept it. Okay, so once you've typed it in and it finds a match, you click on continue. It gives you the opportunity to put in your flash drive and select it. So I have it here. I select my flash drive and I hit on continue. And I hit on create now to begin the creation. So finally, the image has been created on the flash drive. And once it's done, it gives you this success message. You hit on the done to complete. So once that's done, all you need to do is to take the flash drive and insert it into I have the flash drive over here and I'm going to be inserting it into my Chromebook. I'm back to the Chromebook. I have inserted my flash drive and on my keyboard, I'm going to be holding down on escape, escape, refresh, and then the power key. So we have the escape key, the refresh and the power key. I'm going, I'm going to be holding all three at the same time, all three keys, escape, refresh, power. And I wait for it to come up again. So 
So once I've done that, it gives me this message, verifying the integrity of your recovery media. Okay, so once the USB drive has been created, I've created the USB drive the recovery image so once that's created you plug it into the Chromebook that's what I'm doing right now plug it in once it's plugged in I would say it's advisable you plug in the power source to the Chromebook so I have my Chromebook power source here and I plug it in so you plug in the power source, you make sure it's plugged in. Once you've done that, you're going to be pressing a combination of three keys, the escape, the refresh, and the power key. So you press all three at the same time. And you wait for your system to reboot. Once it reboots, it, begin, it will begin the recovery. You would need to give it some time to do this. It's very important you have the power plugged in. I tried to do this a couple of times earlier without the power plugged in, I was getting an error. So when you intend to do this, always ensure that the power source is plugged in. I know most of these Chromebooks, they have a lot of, uh, their batteries carry a lot of charge, but it's still advisable you plug in your power source. Eventually it gives you this screen that tells you the system recovery is complete. Please remove the recovery media and your computer will restart automatically. So I'll be doing that. I take out my flash drive and I wait for the system to reboot. Okay, so it comes up, Chrome OS. Here we are. All right. So as you can see, the system is back to life and everything is ready for signing. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, kindly hit the like button. Uh, if you have any questions, you could drop them in the comments. And um, if you're not subscribed, kindly hit on the subscribe. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.